What's up guys, Kellen here with Droid Life. We're taking a look, finally, at Minuum Keyboard, which was originally an Indiegogo campaign that was successfully funded, and it's a you know third-party Android keyboard that uh, is being sold as sort of a new way to type in a single row. So I've got it pulled up here. You can see we've got a single row here, QWERTY-style layout, but you're supposed to be able to, I can't believe the exact term but it, or exact phrase, but something like delightfully rapid sloppy typing or something like that. So essentially they want you to press in areas where letters are and they're gonna try to predict words for you based on where you're tapping. So it's a little bit like Flexi, which we talked about a couple of weeks ago, except Flexi has a more traditional sort of bigger layout. This is shrunken down into one row. So they're really working with their prediction engine and they almost don't care what letters you're typing as long as you're getting in the right area. Um, so there's some gestures in there too, like you can swipe to the right to quickly do a space, you can swipe to the left to delete, you can swipe up to do a return. So I've built in some things. Um, the beta came out to backers of the project on Tuesday. Uh, we've had it since then and we're completely torn on it. Uh, we were gonna talk about it initially and we just aren't sure what we think about it. I've been using it off and on for two days not gonna lie, I still can't get the hang of it. And Flexi, which I said was similar, I absolutely love. So this is an interesting idea for a keyboard. Um, I'm gonna have to give the, uh, the, final, the final conclusion up to you uh, once you get a hold of this. Again, it's private beta, though I'm sure they'll go public with it at some time, but it's a really, really interesting, as all I'll say, way to type on a keyboard. Personally, not one of my favorites, but you may really enjoy it. We've already seen a lot of comments on Twitter of people that are really enjoying the keyboard. So I'm just gonna show you how it works, and uh, I'll, I'll, again, I'll let you guys decide what you think. So when you start typing, like I'm just gonna type, I think I usually type this keyboard is really awesome or something like that, so we're gonna try that. So I'm gonna type this, and you can see I kind of typed in areas where T-H-I-S is, and it actually predicted. And so I can either space and continue on, but let's say I didn't want this, I wanted bike or rule or fund. You can see uh, as I swipe over here, all these other suggestions are there for me. But I do want this, so I'm just gonna do, rather than, t you could tap on this, or you can just do a swipe to the right and actually does a space. So I can say this is a really interesting keyboard. It actually got that right. And I swiped twice to the right and actually did a period up there, which is another thing that we've seen with Flexi. So it actually got that right, predicted every word I was typing, and it tries to predict on the fly so you don't have to type full words. And, and there we go. So it did that, um, but I'm gonna go return a couple times here. So let's say I wanna type something like, I think baseball is a boring, boring sport. Probably gonna get some hate for that, but so it worked and I used this suggestion and things like that. But then I can also say, you should, and I typed you and it just came up with Tim. How about you? There we go. You should watch game, nope, game. Doesn't like game, but it was a suggestion, so that works. Game seven, and I'm swiping up to get seven space of, and of, it doesn't always like, there we go, the, and this is where it gets sort of interesting, I wanna type NBA Finals, so I'm gonna swipe up and try to get capital letters here, but see, this is where I think it's clunky and slow, and maybe you will get used to it, NBA, okay, Finals, you should watch there, tonight. Okay, so that took a little bit of time, <laughs> a lot longer than it would have on another keyboard that I'm using like Flexi or if you're swiping with Swift Key or Swipe or the Gesture Keyboard Android. So it took me quite a while, I think, to write, I think baseball is a boring sport, you should watch Game 7 NBA Finals tonight. Um, again, if, it, if I maybe practice with it some more, that wouldn't take so long. It's one of those keyboards that you really have to learn how to type on again. While it's a QWERTY setup, you have to decide which areas you're typing. You really have to think about the letters you're hitting because you can't visually see them because your thumbs are sort of over the keyboard. So you have to learn areas. And uh, it, it, to me, it seems like a more painful or headache inducing keyboard typing experience, but that's just me. Again, we've had a lot of people on Twitter say, we really like what's going on here with, uh, with Minuum. It's better than Flexi and it's better than other keyboards and I'm loving it. So there's definitely some people that are enjoying it. I personally just have not found any, any enjoyment in it. So 
this is this is essentially what you get when you type with it. Now again, like I said, you can swipe up to get to punctuation or other letters, capital letters, or if you wanna get into numbers and things like that. So there's some ways to do that. You can also do this swipe down on the keyboard to quickly get to numbers and just keep swiping down and it'll toggle between those. Um, as I mentioned, there's gestures. So if I swipe to the right, you can see I get a space. If I swipe to the left, I get a delete, which will quickly delete words if you'd like. Um, you can also swipe up to this right corner and you get a return or you could go over here to settings which I'm going to do now. So for in settings there's like a setup and a tutorial and all that stuff. You can actually add a space bar in if you don't necessarily like all of the uh, gestures. So you can see now I've got a space bar down here along with the return and a quick same changeover for numbers and so then you get the more traditional typing experience at least a little bit more. You still have the uh, minimum style keyboard but you can't hit space if you'd like. So I'm going to go back in settings though and disable that. The other cool thing in here you can adjust is, well there's two things, word suggestion height and main keyboard height. So if we uh, tap in here and you drag this slider, you can actually adjust the size of the keyboard to be smaller or larger depending on what you like. Now that'll really come in handy on tablets and things like that, you can obviously reset it. Uh, so that's sort of the uh, bare bones look at Minuum. Um, again. Not necessarily my favorite keyboard, but you might really like it. Once it goes public, I highly suggest everyone try it out. You might really get the hang of it. I just haven't so far, as you can tell from this video. Uh, but it's definitely an interesting idea. The prediction it does, I think, actually works pretty well. I'm just too slow at typing on it because I'm constantly thinking, like, what letter am I supposed to hit? And it doesn't seem all that intuitive. But, again, once you learn it, get over that learning curve, it could be the keyboard for you. So, anyways, a quick look at Minuum Keyboard for Android. We're Droid Life Peace.